Yo, what's good, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well today. And I want to ask you guys a question. How many times have you been told that a player sucks, that a player isn't worth the coins, or that he's just not going to perform well for you? Well, that's what happened to me with Fabio Borini. Everyone told me not to get him. Everyone told me he sucked. Everyone told me he's this, he's that. And then I picked him up, and he was phenomenal. I'm going to straight up tell you guys what I thought of him right in the beginning of this video. He was phenomenal. Very impressed by this man. Even though he's only 79 rated, I'm going to talk way more in depth about him in this video. So stay tuned. Now, before we get into anything, I tried to do a review on Man of the Match, Diego Forlan. And that's what I want to get at. Everyone told me he was a great player to use. He's amazing. Use him as a center forward. Guess what? I did that, and he was terrible for me. And that's what really comes down to. You guys got to make sure that some players won't fit your play style. So Diego Forlan, despite he's got great shooting, his first touch was atrocious. It was terrible. And it's not the pace. 69 pace is plenty for me. You guys have seen me use teams with Francesco Totti, and I've loved using Francesco Totti. But for some reason, Forlan did not do it for me. I went ahead and sold him. Picked up Fabio Borini, which was uh, actually a lot of people said that was the dumbest thing I've done, but you guys are wrong. For 42,250 coins, you get a phenomenal striker on Ultimate Team. Now, granted, only played about seven games with him. I will play more by the end of this review, and I only got six goals, which is not too bad. It's, it's all right. But as you guys can see, in total, he's got 13 games played and 14 goals scored in total from other people using him as well. So he's obviously been somewhat successful for other people. Now, I will say this. Let me get this out of the way right away in this video. He has a high, high work rate. And you guys know how much I hate high, high work rates, especially on strikers. But that's usually because they run out of stamp. Usually when you get them the ball, they can't do anything with it. They're out of energy. Fabio Borini still had the energy, still had the stamp to do anything with the ball that you want him to do. Obviously, three-star skills. Three-star weak foot definitely felt like a four-star. I <laughs> There's so many things on his card that feel way better than it really says. That 77 shot feels extremely better than 77. That 84 pace feels way better. 79 dribbling feels way better. His strength feel, feels better. Everything on his stats, on his cards, feels way better than what it states. I don't know what it was. He's just tenacious. He's aggressive. He stays on the ball. He's got a great long shot. Now, I will say his shot accuracy isn't too great. That is one thing I will say. His shot accuracy isn't too great. But he's become probably one of my favorite strikers to use. He's just so fun to use. You guys will see his uh, stats compared with his 77 version in a short bit, and then you guys will see some goals in a short bit as well. But let me show you guys the team I used him in. Paired him up in a City A BPL hybrid. Paired him up with Suarez there, as you guys can see. Beautiful partnership. Was very happy with that partnership. Went ahead with Juan Mata at Cam. And one thing I did notice a lot is because of his high, high work rate, he would switch positions quite often in the game, but it didn't bother me much because when he switched, for example, to Cam, sometimes I was able to get great long shots off with him because it, it created more space. But a lot of times he would switch positions with Hazard, and still I didn't really mind. When Hazard plays striker for me, it's still great. So I think that's why he worked very well on this team is when he switched positions with other people because of his high, high work rate, it still worked out because the other players were able to fill in his role. So very, very happy with this team. Actually only lost one game with it. And the only time I lost was because the team did not have fitness on it. So um, very, very happy with this team. If you guys do want to give it a shot, it's not that expensive. I think it only costs about 180,000 coins. Most people by now, I believe, should have somewhat around there. If not, you can replace a lot of these players. You don't have to go with someone like Hazard, but everyone has dipped down in price. Obviously, some of the City A players are increased, specifically the Italian players. That's probably because of the Confed Cup. Uh, a lot of the Italian players are a little bit higher in price right now, so be careful with that. But let's go ahead and compare his stats from his 77 version to his man of the match 79 version we'll talk about him a little bit more and then we're going to head into some clips and we're going to end this review so let's go ahead and hop into the comparison all right guys so on your left you'll see the man of the match 79 version and on the right you will see the regular 77 version and both their stats now at first glance you will see that there's not that many upgrades in terms of numbers you'll see most of his physical stats are the ones that get an upgrade you'll see his finishing get a nice upgrade but for the most part nothing that really stands out and that's what really shocks you he's one of those players that will shock you you got to ignore those numbers you got to ignore the stats 
Sometimes stats don't make a player in terms of how good or how bad he is. Sometimes he will just perform good for you because he'll fit your play style. I don't know what it is about him that really fits my play style. He's got everything that I hate, which doesn't make sense. He's got the high, high work rate that I hate. He doesn't have great shot power. He's got a, you know, 70 something, 72 long shots, which is terrible, but some reason feel way better way better than what his card says and we're gonna hop into some clips and you guys will actually see that his shot power of 83 feels way better now his shot accuracy is something that i wish was a tiny bit better but we'll see how that goes let's hop into some clips let's talk about him a little bit more and then we'll get your feedback in the comment section below so in this first clip, guys, I want you to pay attention to his positioning. You guys will see he switched over to playing a cam, and now Juan Mata has moved up playing left striker. A lot of this is because of his work rate, so pay attention to that throughout these clips. Additionally, not every single clip will be a goal. There's going to be a lot of clips showing off his shot power from long range. Also, his weak foot, his left foot is very good, much better than the three stars that says on his card. And saying that, this is why people do reviews. A lot of the times, card stats and card numbers lie they just don't tell the full truth about the player and that's a perfect example of what of what Fabio Borini is now there are some things I did not enjoy about him I've named them earlier in this video a lot of it was because of his work rates his work rates are just something that I don't enjoy in a striker but they were tolerable I was not having too much trouble or too much of an annoyance with it I loved his finishing I loved his long shots right there was a great one displayed from him it's not the best Best shot power you've ever seen on a player, but it's definitely, he can make it work, man. That was a great shot from him right outside the box. Places it perfectly for the keeper not to get. And there are other long shots that I tried with him. Some of them not on target, but you guys can kind of tell what his shot power is like. But he's just a tenacious player. He's always after the ball. He always gets his foot on the ball, and he's somewhere in the play on the attack every single time. And that's what I loved about him. His strength is definitely better than what his card says, but it's not the best. He was getting pushed off the ball quite easily and that's one thing that you will probably not enjoy about him but his volleying as seen and as displayed right there is perfect a lot of strikers will probably be able to make that goal so it's nothing spectacular but he's definitely worth the 40,000 coins I must say a lot of the times you know people will brush off 79 rated players because they don't have 90 pace but he does have 84 pace which is fast really really fast he can get past a lot of the defenders on ultimate team and he's got great finishing so those are really two things that are essential on ultimate team and he has and his first touch is actually amazing you guys can see many times and right there his left foot his weak foot on display as he fake shots it and finishes beautifully again inside the box i'm telling you guys if you have not tried him give him a shot put him in a bpl team put him in a nice bpl italian hybrid and he'll fit perfectly right there was a little bit of, of luck but you guys can see he's just everywhere on the pitch anytime i took a shot he's there like that was obviously complete luck but it happens so overall, very, very happy with Fabio Borini. I will highly recommend him to anybody for only 40,000 coins. His price will probably even drop further. So if you guys want to wait a little bit, his price will drop and you guys will be able to get him and probably mess around with him. But again, keep in mind his positioning is not the best and you will find him out of position quite often. So that's one thing I will say about him. Everything else, uh, pretty happy with it. His, his strength is, is not the best as well. But all in all, a great player, well worth 40,000 coins, and you should give him a shot. With all of that said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, sorry. And uh, one thing I would do want to say, reviews do take me longer to put out because I really try to go in-depth and I try to play as many games with the players, and I play them all in Division 1. I don't play in tournaments. I try to come up the best uh, players possible when I do player reviews, so keep that in mind. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see daily FIFA content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, what else are you going to do? I'll catch you guys all tomorrow.